Yo, 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 what's going on guys? It's Hence. I just got home from work right now. I wanted to make this video as quickly as possible so I can get it to you guys before the game releases tomorrow. Let's just hop right over to my computer screen here. Um, we're just going to be quickly talking about how you guys can make coins. Uh, I made a million coins in the first week of the year last year. Or about a week and a half of the year being released free to play. Um, other than the 4,600 hub points from the... Uh, Ultimate Edition uh, in the week, first week and a half. I made about a million coins at this point. My team's 86 overall uh, When was this video released this video was released on the 7th of November? So uh, about three weeks after the game came out is when I had this Sorry, I'm like I just like chugged a glass of water. So I'm burping a little bit my bad But I had as you can see here I had 1.18 million coins. So let's put this on uh, 720p Ooh, the methods uh, but actually do I'll meet the video up so I can talk over it um, but so basically what happened is uh, I was showing you guys how to make your first 300k in this video this is about when fantasy was out I think I already had made like two fantasy player picks at this point and I still had 1.1 million coins left so I think it was around 2 million coins if I didn't spend any of my coins at this point so uh yeah, I'm basically going to be telling you what I did. See, I had 1,000 things traded. But anyway, uh, I'm basically going to be telling you what I did to get to a million coins in the first week of the game and how you guys can replicate what I did uh, in order to make your first million coins. Now, the first point of topic that I want to go over is that at the start of the game, there's a lot of incentives to go ahead and make team builders. As you can see, I already had two. There's a lot of incentives to go ahead and make team builders uh, at the start of the game. There's a lot of incentives to, you know, go and do icon packs at the start of the game. But that's really not what's going to make you a lot of coins. Instead, what's going to make you a lot of coins is not spending any of your coins on your team. Uh, specifically into untradeable things on your team, like team builders and icons and stuff like that and X-Factors. And instead putting those coins into tradable players and working the market a little bit. Now, let's start from the first time that you log on to HUT. This is going to be the most important time of the year. This is how you're going to spend your HUT points if you're free to play. Uh, this is super important. If you're pay to play uh, and you don't want to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars throughout the year, that's an exaggeration for some people. Anyway, if you don't want to spend a lot of money during the year, this is going to help you minimize the amount of money that you need to spend and maximize the amount of coins that you're going to have. So this is, this applies to everybody. Anybody who spends money, anybody who's free to play, this applies to you. What you're going to want to do with your HUT points at the start of the year is buy all the packs that you can on the first day of the game coming out. Tomorrow, buy all the packs that you can. Spend your points on the Whatever packs you want to spend them on, I don't personally care, but you want to spend your coins on packs. Then, the second step is to sell everything that's on an NHL player. Quick sell. Quick sell everything that's on an NHL player. Any jerseys, any, co uh, not contracts anymore, any, any coaches, any silver players, any non-NHL gold players. Quick sell them. Instantly, just quick, 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 quick. Get rid of them. Second step. Any gold NHL players that are tradable, you also, you only want to open tradable packs. Let me make that clear right now. Any gold NHL players that you have in your club that are tradable or in your collection that are tradable, sell them on the auction house. Get the coins as fast as you can. The next thing that you're going to want to do as I pull up my calculator on the screen over, which way is it? That way. Um, the next thing you're going to want to do is buy meta players. Players like Connor McDavid, players like Kale McCarr, players like Austin Matthews. These are the type of players that are going to go up during the year. So right away, the first players that you want to buy are those players. You want to buy them for under what you think that they're going to be worth in about a week. So anything that you pack that is not a meta player, anything that's not going to be on your team after a week of playing Hut, you want to sell that. Everything else you want to keep because the prices are going to go up and then they're going to come back down again. So, but first they're going to go up as more co coins come into the market. The prices are going to go up. Think about it like this. If there's five Connor McDavid's on the market and only there's not, there's only two people in the whole game. This is a, this is me just saying whatever. If there's only two people in the game that can afford them, then the price of McDavid is going to have to come down for them to sell because the price and demand the supply and demand does not meet okay so if there's less demand and there's a decent amount of supply the price is going to come down now as people play during the year especially on friday is when the most packs are going to be opened the prices are going to start to shoot up okay right away they're going to shoot right up and you're eventually going to be able to sell those players at a much higher price so if you want a really brainless way to make coins at the start of the year just buy mcdavid's 
buy the Matthews, buy the McCars, buy even X Factor. Some of the X Factors will be good buys. Uh, even Lemieux and Gretzky will be good buys. You want to buy those players at the start of the year. And then after a week or so, the price is going to peak. You want to sell them. Um, and then after that, that's when you're going to start doing your, your regular trading. But this is really, the video really, this one is just about how you're going to start your team. What you want to do is you want to use untradeables in your starting lineup for your team, especially in the first week because there's not going to be champs. You just want to play your rivals games, your squad battles games, whatever you're going to play. Play with an untradeable team. Don't go chasing, you know, big cards. Um, just get the untradeable team. Also, Jesus, I've lost a lot of weight since then. Holy. Anyway, uh... <laughs> Not to gloat, but yeah, anyway, um, yeah, that's what, about what I was going to say for this video. I know it's kind of all over the place. I just got home from work. I wanted to get this video quick before it was too late, but uh, yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.